So today I am going to ask you for help. So we are currently doing the development for and planning for 2024 for all the new products we want to work on to come out. And we're trying to put the priority list together and we're trying to get feedback on what you want. <clears throat> so these are categories that are coming out or we are refining right now. One, we have a stress product where I'm going to call it for this video because I can't get in trouble, a stress, anxiety, depression, PMS, menopause, cortisol product category. That will be coming out in the next six to eight weeks. <clears throat> that one's pre-launch test came back very good. Um, we know that we need a better, faster, quicker motility uh, product. Uh, we've been working, I think we're on version six of that. We were supposed to launch a version of it um, four weeks ago, and then we yanked it off the line, and we're seeing if we can't make it even better and more simple. So. So we are close on that one. We know bloating, everybody has bloating. I think 90% of people reach out to us have some form of bloating. So we are, we are refining three different formulations to test for bloating, so everybody knows. So we know those three categories. So if you had any product category that you wished we would work on, what is it? So we can do topical. So one area we have not been focused on that we are we are, we are considering moving into is topical because we have so many requests for uh, skin issues, um, eczema, acne, all of the anti-aging stuff. So we've got a whole team that is actually very good at just skincare. So would that be of interest to you? Um, so there's the first question. And then orally speaking, uh, we assume liver, uh, we, uh, so cholesterol, we assume, uh, liver health. Uh, we, so I like the health markers, so cholesterol, blood pressure, uh, insulin resistance, glucose management. I would personally, I would bundle those into a health marker category, right, to be done with, uh, with just a general gut health protocol. And then that's what I would put in for a metabolic protocol. I know that the, not, that most of you weight and weight management is not your jam. Um, being somebody who struggles with weight, uh, I have been working on the testing for several of those categories and I've really enjoyed it, but you may not like that. So um, I wish my wife would ask for sexual arousal products, but she's not asking for that. Um, so, but, but we could do that. That would be super simple. So um, we could do that. We could do bone and joint health. We can do um, uh, we, uh, cognitive. So uh, cognition, we can, we can do all of that. So if you had, if you were to have any category you're super interested in, you wish there was better options for, would you please let us know and we will work on those. Okay. So the other thing that I'd like to know is what applications you want them in. Uh, capsules are super easy and we don't seem to offend as many people with capsules. Okay. Um, we finally have the reflux product flavored that will be coming out in the next month or so, I hope, in a peach mango, and that will replace the shitty tasting uh, vanilla cream and stuff that you don't like. The new taste is really good. I like it. Maybe you'll still hate it, but I think it's good. <clears throat> so if we could do, so we can do, we can do drink mixes and all of that um, if you're interested. Um, we can keep them as clean as we can. Obviously, if if it's flavored, there's going to be flavors in it. So with the peach mango, for example, I know exactly what flavors are in that. I can literally be like, here are the flavors. Um, so that we're super candid on what the exact flavor system is in it and where it came from. Okay, so I know that causes some people issues. But some people don't like any flavoring systems. They don't want stevia, they don't want monk fruit, everything causes them issues. But I'm super curious what you would like, okay? Uh, do you want anything flavored? Now, we've looked at uh, other applications in the past, gummies and whatnot. We've got all the manufacturing and everything so we could do gummies. The problem with gummies is you can't put the, you can't put a very, you can't put the clinical doses of active, of the active ingredient amounts in a gummy. like. So if something needs like a gram in order to make it effective or say 500 milligrams, trying to get that into gummies is damn difficult, okay? So that's the problem That's the problem with gummies is putting the right amount of actives in the actual gummies themselves to make them do something. I'm not trying to bag on gummy products, but most of them I don't think have anything in them, but they taste good for a lot of people. Um, 
So, but if you could have anything, what would you want? What kind of product categories? Pick anything. Uh, please put in the comments below what you'd be interested in. And then I'm curious, personally speaking, so for what topics you're interested in. So if, if we were to do messages, if we're doing more messages, um, what categories of messages, what topics are you interested in the research on? And then we can help with that. So hope this helps. Uh, thank you as always for everything you're doing to help us. We hope that we're helping you. Appreciate it.